hello everyone so this video is going to be very interesting i am making one uh, student admission kind of end to end uh, one project with the help of spring uh, mvc orm and ioc so uh, uh, i will go just for the code and uh, i also recommend you to you uh, also start the equips and working with me but for this activity you need one database so i have already installed one database that is mysql uh, and i have one database inside that the youtube that i have made for you so we already know what is the orm or uh, earlier days we used to connect jdbc to the jdbc our java code to the database but it was very tight coupling so but if you use the orm kind of things it gives the so much flexibility and you no need to do any tight coupling or the hard code kind of things for your java code for the database connectivity right so um, uh, this uh, this session i'm going to use the spring uh, hibernate template so what happened uh, from the ui you have to enter the student information it will go the compute mvc then it will go the one uh, mapping with the student entity and then we will go to the interface of our time being i am going to remove the interface i will directly connect to the uh, implementation queue just for saving the time okay and then uh, it will connect to here and student DAO, they will have one uh, hibernate template bean but to make the Hibernate uh, and Hibernate template bin, we depend upon the Spring Factory and for the Spring Factory, you need the data source, Hibernate detail, entity of the details you need. And they will hit the JDBC and you will get the data. Yes. So uh, I'm going to make these things. So let me explain. You will get one form where you can add the student information, another view where you can see all the student list and you can also have the facility to edit. So fantastic session is going to now. So um, start the from scratch, go new and make the um, Maven project, right? We have to use it with the Maven project. Next, so as I have already explained in my previous video, if you want to make uh, MVC kind of thing, so you use the arc type MVC. So you can see here, uh, let me bigger so go and tier spring mvc archetype right then the next and i have given the group id binod suman and you can give anything artifact id you can give anything student um yeah student mvc or other okay and then it will make your project everything will be set so if you see here, this is created, right? First and foremost, we have to add all the required dependency, right? So you know for the um, ORM, Spring things, everything we need. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the Spring version 4.0.3 and Hibernate version 3.6.9. So you have to add those things in the properties, right? So in the properties I add, I need these two things, right? And the uh, Spring version area, we can delete it. No required, right? And uh, we have already the contest. We have already the MPC. We have already the ORM. So I think I have to add one transactional here. So anywhere you can add. right mbc we have orm we have so most of things are already there then you have to add the two dependency for the hibernate so let me add the two dependency here for the hibernate and then one dependency for the mysql database connectivity right or the jars everything should be there right so one dependency then we have done so now you save it and you go src here web app 
wave.xml so what this project has done already made for you they have made the configurable uh, annotation based configurations uh, application right so for that if you see in the java code they have already created one configurations right for everything but i'm not going to this way uh, because most of people is uh, okay with the xml thing so i am not going to use and you can delete this mvc configuration we do not need this one okay delete it so if you delete those configuration then all the configurations you have to do yourself right so what uh, we are thinking to do that we will make one very simple web.xml uh, that is not required everything i will show you what i am going to make it i will show the code simple means uh, that is a display already there in the subhead section if you see the old style right so we need the dispatcher subject here mapping if we can accept all the path and that is the spring dispatcher and they have the spring dis dispatcher they will create the dispatcher subject and that is our the front end we want to keep this information that's it so you know that we need one spring dispatcher subject dot xml right so what we will do that we will in uh, here if you see here you go new others and go the xml file here make one xml file give the name dispatcher subject hyphen subject dot xml right okay you leave it for time being and come here and make the entity controller we have already so we have to make the entity and the DAW okay so how you will do that we need one constructor by which we can get the data right go to the source constructor using all the fields right I make one constructor spring expecting one by default constructor also so we can make it fast here right and now you put all the setup getter right so go again source and setup getter select all everything is done and i recommend you also make the two string so it will be easy to see the data so again go the source and make the two string then wait that's it so this is about the entity class is fine now go and make the dog dog also right so for the dog what you have to do again the same way you go here and make one package also class also right click new class and then give here package name DAW and the name for the class student DAW okay it hint into here now let me show you one concept then uh, as i explain here right for the door you need the hibernate template right so so that's why you come and here create one private hibernate template hibernate template hibernate template okay i got it hibernate template 
and also we have to create the set of getter for the Hibernate template. So again, go to the source and set of getter for the Hibernate template. Select all and get the Hibernate template, right? And now here, if you see, if you want to go the Hibernate source code, just click the F3 and you can see that what are the different methods are there, how it is, take the session factory and connect with the database that you can see, right? We come back and we, we put all the other code operation. So for the, how we will insert the data, update the data, right? So first let me check, insert the data, right? So for the insert, we will have the, student and here you have to just put the hibernate dot save and give the student that's it now second method we have to make if you want to get update so give the method name update and pass the student and here you just give the hibernate update and pass the student okay now if you want to fetch the one date one student record from database so you need this method return type student and get student so you have to pass the row number then you can make it right so how we can do that i will need again and dot get and you have to give the entity class in this case for us we have the and i will be passing the raw number it will give the student to you okay yeah of course we have to return here good now we have to also make one method that will do the delete Delete student, so you have to pass the raw number, then again hibernate and do the delete. But it will not delete with the raw number. So first you have to fetch the student. So I we have the already one method get student from here I will pass. So it will return the object and then this will return this will delete this thing, right? And now how I fetch to all the record for that we have to make list of all the records get all the students right how you will do that so have a net template dot find and here you have to write use not the execute i need the find and here you have to use the from student you need the utility list right so find is has been deprecated so okay if it is duplicated, but it should work for time being. So we see that. Well, it is giving the error because it might be asking to the type casting, I think. So we have to do the type cast. Or oh, it is except. Yeah. So it is asking to the type cast. Okay. Just return. Is okay or no that's why i'm saying it is asking the type casting 
to the type question. So we have done. We make the our the uh, student and the DAW student, right? Now, if you see the DAW student DAW, we need the Hibernate template, right? So what you have to do, you have to go our dispatcher servlet, right? And first of all, you have to make one student DAW. Or first make the compatible for the spring project so you need this information that we have been seeing already and close the bin now first and foremost we go and make the hibernate miss dog class student dog class but if you see the moment you make the dog class right we need uh, um, we need the hibernate here have a template right that we don't have right now so we are just closing it we have to make it but student door go the student door and take the package name and give the complete package name here to student door okay so now i have to make the uh, hibernate template right so the moment you want to go making the hibernate template as i explained in this diagram we need the session factory right so come here we need the session factory right so again we will do the ref and once we get the session factory we make it but now we got the template here right hibernate template so this you can put the here right now for that we have to make the session factory right and in this diagram i showed you that our session factory depend upon the three things so same three things we have to provide so first i am making the one first data source so i am going to top top bottom to up approach first is need the data source right this hibernate factory bin so we don't have right now data source so again we have we are just closing this is the one thing we want second thing we need all the entity class we have so we have only one entity class for time being i gave the student but go the student and take the package name should not be any error that's why i'm taking precaution here and come here and give the exact so i give the data source i give the all the entity information now third information we have to give the hibernate property right and we are done now but now you need a data source right so we have to make the data source right so for the data source actually you have to give all the mysql connectivity information that is in my case this is one driver class driver name local host youtube i have make one database i showed you and the username password you have to do right and then we have to give one prefix suffix that we used to do always that is a part of mbc right just formatted it right and of course you have to give the uh, all the package scanning whether they will see any component anything here right so let me go where is my controller controller is here home controller that is already by default is make, given to me through the arc type right so now go to the control uh, control package and give this controller so should not be any confusion further so we have almost done about the code now thing is that first what you have to do now we have to create the multiple uh, view so for first view that is the index uh, index dot uh, jsp so what we are showing in the index dot jsp uh, just i give the two hyperlink so he can add the student or he can um, or he can uh, 
add or view right just two things i'm giving here so this is our the hyperlink so student portal page you can add the new or you can uh, view this is the one thing that's okay but for the um, let me test the project at least it is working or not TV here so go run the server save everything we have the tomcat already you, you, you please watch my uh, previous uh, mbc video you will get all the details yes it is working so this home page is working now so now what i have to give we have to make the student interview form right so make one student interview form so that should be inside the view right yeah so go here this video is a bit big because we are going to end to end code so this video might be big here and give the name student student form dot jsp and here what you have to do here i make one student that action would be save i be put into the this save in my control class raw number name ct okay that's it and you need one uh, to view of the student right so you have to go and create one new JSP page that would be the view student student so in the view student what it will do I am passing one object from backside that we have to iterate and show so and with that we will also give the functionality to okay so just do this code and forget for right okay because i'm sending the student so this will uh, iterate for through the c dot for each and for the c you have to add this jstl right so I hope I should have add the JSTL. If not, I will see. Okay. Let me see whether you have in the pom.xml we have JSTL or not. Oh, we don't have the JSTL, so it might be not work. So first go and take the JSTL things one dependency we need yeah we need this JSTL okay where we were in the view student right so we have done that so now let us see this much is working or not then we will see but for that now you have to connect everything with the controller page so go to the other controller page in our case this is the home controller right and that is the our main page where they will taken care of everything right so first of all we need one student door right because our all the code are the student DAW only. So I need one student DAW and we have to do the auto wiring, right? So it should be automatically it <laughs> so it should be automatically connect. Right? And now what I'm thinking that when we will uh, if you see here in the index page i have given the student form and the view student right when i click the student form they should get the student form right so those things the same thing student form we have to make one here make this one the student form and it should return the 
with JSP should return the student form JSP that student form we have here if you see student form we have here right and the same way when they show the view student so for that what you have to do we have to create the new method and I have given the view student right so we move util right and get all students I think yeah so what happened when they be click the view it will hit here and it will call the door get all the student it will come and then it will return back to the view student JSP so we have already view student JSP right so we have view student JSP right we have okay no problem so these two things is okay now how to save the student right we we have to make one method they will save the data so if you remember in student form I have given this save right so this save is nothing this save so they will take the data in student and they will save it right? it will okay and after saving it will redirect the view student right so after saving you will redirect the view student and what is the view student view student is here right that should be okay for time being let me see it is working or not so do again go more than half an hour videos wow And what is the table name I have given here with the entity? I have given the table name student admission, right? Okay, it got it. Student admission, I think we should not have so table. So it will create the student admission here. So first I will go and click on the add student detail and it's giving something error that is saying the property configuration data source okay so we have forgotten to give the data source here right so we just discussing and forgot to put it here data source yeah we have to let it be again deploy Yeah, it came. So we just for time being we close the old one, and now if I and you can also see the console. If any problem is there, we can get it in the console, right? So now if you click the add a student again, it is showing there. Let me see what is that. Um, some problem. Session factory contain the oh session factory contain the empty o. So here in the session factory, this is the data source. Session factory we have given that. Ah, here this uh, this the template need the session factory right. So we have to add the session factory f here. Anything missing? No. So I would recommend that. Wait as you change in the configuration, I would say that we deploy the code, right? So, and you can see the console if anything missing is there, we can see in the console. So, it works fine this time. Good now, get the index.xml and now click on the add student, right. So the moment you click on the add you are getting this okay and i say one one zero let me start from my name and the student city is bangalore and save record good so it is saying that some error is there this is good 
at least some errors should be there to they have already inserted that data but a student is spelling is mistake somewhere it mistake in the if you go the dog here this is the mistake from a student right this was the mistake wait it with the update what i saved just now and again we check it yeah wait it with the stop the server and again run it the video is big because we are making the end to end so you can pause and then watch because you have to also do the same code okay let it be again but by that time one data must be entered there right so if you see again so tables this tables came right a student and if you do the select asterisk from is to dent admissions you will get one data right now again if you view the all the student you will see the one record right and now if you add one so uh, again i'm adding one more data we will get usa so if you save now it is showing the two things okay so now i'm going to add and uh, uh, delete those functionalities uh, uh, you can add uh, but let me add if we have the time so time so what i'm thinking in the student view form in the view form add the two more lines so they be here for the each column we will add the two more line and we have to add the column also so i will show how it will work means how it will look so save it it will be looking like this means this is the one yeah if you just refresh it i add this so when you edit it should edit that right so but now if you see student form in the code i have given the edit student and the delete student right so you we in go controller and you have to add two things so in the controller you have to add the two things edit and delete right so what i am doing when when in i will get the request for edit what i will do i will take the raw number which raw number it is deleting and i will get the student information and i will send another form to for their editing purpose so i will send the form to student edit form so you have to make then you have to make one student admission form so student edit form this is another jsp and if you see student admission form so what we have to do actually here i will not show the raw number because raw number we are not going to update by anyone so what we will do we will give one form to edit on we take care if you see, if you see any browser what it is showing so this is student underscore mbc dot orm right so you have to give the same path here student dot mbc dot orm then uh, then it it will hit the edit save right so again go here controller and we should have one edit save so they will save your data and for deleting purpose also you should have one so now after this all the code has been done wait it me the save and for all the method i have it is there in the door right that's why we are able to make it fast now right click and run
Ok. By that time, you can see how many we have the two data, right? Okay. Now you can see the complete code flow. So add student. I am adding one more data, and suppose I put the name. Uh, um, nine multi and see it is the Bangalore it is saving here it is showing here right now I want to change uh, Binod Suman city from Bangalore to US so how you will do that the moment I edit it will give the new uh, okay it will not giving the new something in the edit form student edit form something student you need you need the two tag in the code that's why it was not working because I use the different form that's why nevertheless go back and I want to edit so from Bangalore I make the USA and if you see it is editing if you make the delete it is deviating right so it was the end to end uh, thank you very much for watching the really long videos and uh, i will try to share my code also but please be kind and subscribe the channel and we'll get many more new videos on the many new technologies